Hello guys, this is Godspeed here, and I'm here to show you my all-in-one guardian build for World vs. World. This is the general go-to type of builds. Um, most uh, our guild and my previous guild w was going to. This is a bit different from the builds I've seen in the past few days. I've been uh, doing some research, especially very different from the Ilway Guardian. But this is definitely the go-to frontliner. I think it's more like the hero fighter style. Um, this embodies the Trinity really well. It has big damage output uh, and still uh, can have a lot of survival and support. Is mostly a tank with some damage and a bit of support. You'll have uh, you'll still have a lot of power good crit chance and good, and good crit damage. On survival you'll have a lot of HP and a lot of uh, armor. In, in support you will be able to buff your uh, your warband with stability, condition clans and you'll have a few crowd control um, skills. So this is like the trinity on yourself. This is a standalone build. You, you can uh, run this with your uh, with your guild and you will surely be uh, very helpful to it. So I'll talk about uh, gear, traits, weapon skills and utilities and I'll show you a bit of the gameplay so we have an idea of how uh, I roll with this. So jumping onto the gear. So full uh, soldier uh, gear with soldiers, uh, soldier runes. Full ascended um, celestial accessories. And then you can either go a soldier weapon or knight's weapon. What I say is, if you're fighting big zerts, go for the sigil of stamina because you'll be able to keep rolling as you kill guys, and that rolling will heal. So the more you kill, the more you roll, the more the more you heal. I'm using bloodlust uh, stacking weapon, and then of course swapping it to another weapon when you run with full stacks. Either uh, with sigil of energy, if you're going to face a tough enemy, really hard fight, you won't be able to get those skills in the beginning, so you need the extra rolls in the beginning of the fight. Or going for stamina sigil. Moving on to traits, the build is uh, 0030010, 30, 10. Um, and the main pillars of this this build are altruistic healing and creative of voice. This is how we work around from this build. In Valor, if you have 30 uh, Valor and you take Retributive Armor, and this will boost a bit your crit chance because you have a good overall toughness. Uh, strength in numbers, a few Guardians should run this. This is better than uh, anything else you have. The Condition Cleanse is not strong enough for the overall numbers in World vs. World. Altruistic Killing is uh, what gives you sustain. It is the thing that keeps you alive and running uh, through the fight. Uh, then in honor you take 4 shots recharge 20% faster. Selfless daring is the most OP uh, part of this build. Uh, each time you roll you heal 5 men. Um, this, is not, this, ha this has no internal cooldown so this is when the sigil of stamina gets retarded. Then you have Empowering Might, which uh, whenever you land a critical hit gives you and your allies one stack of might. It has one second internal cooldown and the might lasts for 5 seconds. So you can stack uh, over uh, 5 stacks. Then we have Purity of Voice, which shouts convert one condition to a boom. This with the Soldier rune will greatly increase the condition cleanse of, of your warband, which is very, very necessary in the current meta. And lastly, um, Consecrated Ground. This will be very useful to land sentry where you want to. Moving on from the traits to the weapon skills. We used Staff and Greatsword. It's the perfect balance on uh, defensiveness and offensiveness. The Staff is very good uh, mid-range um, weapon. The one auto attack is the best uh, auto attack in the game. Five target limit. Really arc spread. It's very very nice. The number two orb is very very good burst healing when you when you need and a bit of damage uh, range damage the three gives you speed and and it can be used uh, as an offensive uh, skill as well so 
keep in mind this the in the middle of the fight can bring you back from half, half HP to, to full and also healing your allies while giving might so this is probably the most overpowered uh, skill in the game right now Co combo with um, altruistic healing then you have line of warning line of warning is a very good CC line you can just put this in the middle of the adversaries and I'm sure you will get a few interrupts but many people will bump, bump there and it's it's very good to break up, uh, break up enemy formations when they're pushing into you just drop one, one of these lines and it will break up their uh, their um, their cohesion then we uh, moving on to great sword great sword is a very very damage oriented weapon the auto attack is okay it gives might in the last little chain the tool is um, a double edged sword there because it nuke skill People will melt if many of many guardians do this on the, the, the a certain spot, but also can give, really really gimp you with the retaliation. It will take a lot of damage through retaliation if you do this on the on the enemy front line, for example, if the, everyone is running retaliation. Leap of faith is very good. Leap is uh, also. Uh, as a, a must I'd say in uh, any build because of the movement skill it also blinds so it's very very good skill symbol of wrath gives retaliation which, which is also very good uh, overall if you drop this right you can it, it can also heal you when your allies path to it the, the guardian pool is awesome this is very very awesome Al always reminds me of uh, Mortal Kombat get over here um, this is very very aggressive CC, if you come up with a leap you can, can catch the stragglers and then... Get over here! Excellent! Red them. For our healing skill, I take shelter. This is very good because it gives 2 seconds of blocking, so whenever you feel will take a burst of damage, you just use it. I use this very very preemptively from time to time. Next, the utility skills. 2 shouts, sentry and uh, tom, of, uh, tom of courage. The two shouts synergize well with the uh, RE recharge, but most important is for uh, condition cleansing. We will have uh, Runes of the Soldier and uh, Purity of Voice. The old line will guarantee you protection and regen, which are very very useful. Protection is very very useful to protect your, your warband when going through chokes, kill zones, etc. Then moving on to standard grounds, a stand breaker gives retaliation and the most important stability. Stability is the single most important boom in a, in a warband. It will make you ignore all, all the, the, the crowd control effects from the adversary, so keep this in mind to use it as you go in into the enemy or when the enemy is going into you because to, to avoid being stunned by their uh, Emerson waves. When you're going through lines of warning, statics, sentries, when you see those make sure you use them so you don't get separated from the group and everyone around you can go through them safely. Next on Sentry. Sentry is a very very powerful uh, skill. It can um, it can make the difference when holding chokes or to break apart enemy formations. This is a, a very good skill. The cooldown is a bit big but you'll have almost every uh, if the fight is long you can use it twice and if the fight is short you will probably be back to the next fight. And lastly, Tom of Courage. Tom of Courage, this, this is funny, I've been called out in in my uh, in movies saying why do you take uh, Tom of Courage and not renewed focus, it's a get out of jail card, this is this is very bad. No, no, this is awesome. The, uh, Tom of Courage will give you so much sustain to your uh, warband. It's a must. It's a must. When your warband starts uh, cycling through them, you will see a great incre increase of survivability. It's so powerful. You see in my videos, it's so powerful, like healing 1,600 for um, f for five people with a really extremely low cooldown it's much 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 better than the the virtues pop so yes take a tome of courage and you will see a lot of uh, a great increase in on your uh, warband survivability and now i'll talk a bit of, about gameplay uh, so now i'm gonna explain you a bit how i play this build um, I'm going to slow down a few parts of the video so uh, we can I can tell you what's going on at all times. This footage is from some screens versus Vindictin Morten. 
we start off with an empower and a veil to open. As we push into them, I drop my wall in their path. The few get knocked down, and uh, we dropped our DPS there. I switch back to Greatsword, do a leap to their backline, and the Greatsword pull into the Whirling Wrath. We try to get a few down, and after a while, we disengage for a regroup. As we charge back in, I drop my sentry in their path, and they get bumped back, so it's the time to drop everything we got on them and a lot of them go down we try to finish the, the deal uh, I swap back to the, the staff and get that DPS going dropping the 3 on them for the more the damage and the, the 2 bomb keep in mind to always drop that uh, number 2 it's really really good for the healing even though it's a bit if every gun does it it will be a great increase in the healing then. So this time I start with a great sword. We're gonna do a veil. I'm gonna leap across the battlefield and do a great sword pull, and immediately dropping a sentry on our path. Uh, now I do the rolling wrath, and I take a lot of damage from retaliation. Pay attention. I do the heal. I and uh, pop the virtues to make sure I survive. We do a quick regroup and do an empower. We charge back at them and then we're gonna drop a wall in their path. A few bump down, drop the 3 for damage, um, staying at mid range and uh, keep in mind the dodge roll for the heals uh, and the number 2 for the damage and healing. So back to the great sword for rolling wrath, a bit of damage and the great sword pull. As we go down, I drop my 4 because I know my guys will go over the it and I will hit, uh, heal myself and uh, buff them with. Retaliation. I leap to their um, backline and do a whirling wrath, swap back to stuff, and drop my 3 for the damage and uh, the 2 for the healing. We do a very uh, close regroup, empowering for the healing and might. We charge back at them, the wall goes down, getting some interrupts, followed by the number 3, swapping back to great sword while I get punted. Quickly, st the stability up. Going back there, dropping the 4 for the retaliation and a bit, bit of damage, we do a regroup again. I try to leap, comes out wrong, do the great sword pull, a few get separated. Our leader charged back at them and I try to follow, swap back to, swap back to the staff, the 3 goes down, the old bomb goes down. Uh, keep the DPS up with the auto attack, the 2 again. I swap back to great sword and just finish with a whirling wrath. The fight, the fight is pretty much over by now. Next clip is from uh, one of uh, one of my videos, playing a, a little variation with the with Saber Self instead of Sanctuary to get that extra condition cleanse. But the, the overall build is the same. As we get to the top of the stairs, I pop the protection, do the whirling wrath and the stability. And we turn around and go to the safe spot behind the top of the stairs. Shelter probably saved my life there. Uh, we regroup uh, on that side, we fully regroup there, we do an empower, we wait for our uh, stability to get back up. When the stability is up, I change to great sword, uh, do a leap in, we at the right side, do a 4 and a wheel in wrath, get a lot, a lot of damage there, we roll through their back line. I do finish the pull, drop the line in the middle, and uh, number 3, we agree with on the back side and get ready to push again. And we finish the, the fight. Uh, so this was my guide, I hope you use it and enjoy it. If you have any questions, just post in the comments below, subscribe if you like it, and check out my ranger guide as well, for World vs World. I hope I see you in the battlefield, good luck out there.